Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we are going to be installing the Whitestone Dome Premium Gen Film for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. And I gotta say, when it comes to Whitestone Dome screen protectors, these have been my go-to screen protectors for years when it comes to any device that they have them available for. They have never let me down. But yes, we're gonna be installing this one on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 today. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because we are going to be checking out cases from our sponsors of today's video. We got the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro here for the Z Fold 5, which is actually what I have been using over these past few days, and it's been holding up great. And then if you want something a little bit more simple, we have the iBlaze and Cosmo series clear case here for the Z Fold 5 as well. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so we can see how much extra protection we're getting with both of these cases, plus this screen protector. All right, so I've got everything out of the box set up and ready to go, as you can see here. And the first thing you wanna do is to make sure that your Z Fold 5 is powered off because you don't want the screen turning on on you while you're putting this on. That way you can ensure that you are putting it on perfectly without any air bubbles. So as you can see, my device is now off. Now what you wanna do first is make sure you have everything set up and ready to go. You wanna be prepared for this. Now next, what we're gonna do is actually take off the existing screen protector on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. No, this does not void your warranty. It will only void your warranty if you do happen to destroy your inside display while taking this off. But I haven't really seen too many cases of that happening. And I really wouldn't say you need to switch out this inside original screen protector unless it's starting to you know get messed up on you and it's time to replace it then that's when you can replace it or if you want something just a little bit better then you can replace it with the white stone dome gen film screen protector which in my opinion has a bit of a better feel than this original one right here so let's go and take off the original screen protector here as you can see they give us this little tool right here this little plastic piece and you just simply just kind of Put it under the original screen protector. All right, I got it in there. Now this is really just to kind of help you peel up the corner and then from there you can just kind of grab it and pull it off your display. As easy as that. And you shouldn't have any problems taking this off. Peels off nice and easily as you can see there. As you can see, my display is in perfect condition. So now what we wanna do is place the phone in the tray right here that it comes with. Let me take this piece off. We are going to need this in a little bit, but you wanna make sure the camera is in this little spot right here. That opening, boom, just like that, fits in there nice and perfect as you can see there. Then we'll go ahead and take this piece. Don't, these four little pieces up here are going to be facing up. This is the part that you want down at the bottom of this insert right here. Just go ahead and set it right in there just like that, snaps in nice and easy. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean our display. So we get this little wet wipe right here. We can go ahead and open it up if you want. Just go around it, make sure there's no fingerprints or anything like that. Should be good right there. Go ahead and place it over to the side for now. Then we can get our dry cloth. Dry it up. Now to prevent this, uh, to prevent this whole rig from sliding around the way you see it doing right now, they come with this little stoppage tool right here. So it's got some adhesive on the bottom. So you can peel out this bottom part right here and place it up at the top, just like that. And it'll stick to your surface, boom. So it prevents this from sliding upwards as you're installing this screen protector. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it again really quick up here. Looks like still got some fingerprints, dry it up. Okay, so once you feel you've gotten the display clean enough, we can go ahead and take our dust absorbing sticker to get any dust that might have fallen onto the display while cleaning it. And I do recommend doing this on a dust-free environment, just so you don't risk any dust getting under the screen protector because you don't want any air bubbles. There we go. At least from my angle right here, it's looking good. Like I said, I'm doing this behind the camera. So forgive me if it doesn't come out perfect. This is just to kind of show you how to put this screen protector on. There we go, nice and clean. Then we wanna go ahead and take our screen protector. Process is very simple. Just pull back on the one right here. Peel this piece off. Do not touch the inside of this uh, screen protector once you do so. All right, there we go. You'll see a little rip up at the top. No, that is not the screen protector itself, but you want to put this face down just like this. And it tells you where the bottom is and the top. And you wanna put these holes up at these inserts up here. Slide right on just like that. And then same thing down at the bottom, line up the holes. And we are ready to go from here. You're gonna go ahead and take your squeegee, start down at the bottom and just start pushing up slowly, nice and firmly, but not too hard. 
here we go. Go ahead and try to use two hands here. And let's do this. Nice and smooth. There we go. This is where that little stoppage tool is helping out up at the top. There we go, all the way at the end. Just push a little bit more. Go ahead and push down a little bit more. Then we can take this top part off, just like that. Can take the bottom off. We'll go ahead and just kind of rub it down at the bottom again, up at the top and go sideways a little bit just to make sure any air bubbles are out. And that is looking good. So now what we can do is peel off this top portion right here. Just like that. And as you can see, there are a few air bubbles in the middle. So we wanna to try to push those out. And there we go, that's looking pretty good for now. It looks like I did get a speck of dust right there, right in the middle. Like I said, I am doing this behind camera, so it was a little bit hard to see if I had any dust under this or not. But we can go ahead and take it out of the case. Let's go ahead and power this on. Let's see, there we go. If we look around, as you can see, it's on there really good. It's just some dust right there. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad, actually looking really, really good. All right, so I've got the device powered on and just to check out responsiveness here, as you can see, it responds very, very well and feels really good on this inside display right here. Then we can go ahead and give it its first fold. So you can see, no problems there and it still responds really well. Okay, so now that we got some good protection for the inside display of the Galaxy Z Fold 5, what about that outside display and the rest of the outside of the phone? That's where our sponsors of this video come in. We got Subcase and iBlazon over here to my right. Now, the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro over here to my left is actually a case I've been using over the past few days, and it has been holding up great. I mean, this is a super protective case that you're gonna want for your Z Fold 5 if you're looking for that maximum protection. This is a two-piece case coming with a hard shell back and even for the hinge itself, and also coming with a built-in screen protector as well so let's go ahead and get this case on the device itself very easy to put on snaps on nice and easy just like that got my fingerprints all over that <laughs> front screen protector we'll wipe that down in a bit and then the back snaps on just as easy just like that as you can see there you can even open it up to make sure it is on there nice and secure and it looks like it is on there nice and secure. So this is what the back of the case is going to look like once it is on your device. Nice, cool, rugged look that it has to it. A nice deep cutout for those cameras in the back to give it some good protection. You even got a cutout right here for the power button and fingerprint sensor to help you easily find it. And then of course you got the volume rockers on the side which respond very well. No problems there at all. And then we got a kickstand in the back as well, as you can see there, which also acts as a pop socket. You can use it like this, like this. You can even use it with the phone open if you want this way or that way. So another nice feature there. We also have this hinge protector on the side, which is also compatible with the S Pen. Now it's actually compatible right now at the moment with last year's S Pen, but they are offering free adapters to be compatible with the new S Pen that comes with the Z Fold 5. You can easily just go to their website. And I'll have a link for these cases down in the description below. And they offer those free adapters for that new S Pen. So you don't have to worry about spending extra money. And then of course we have that outside screen protector right there, which responds very well. No problems there, as you can see. Works good, it's gonna protect that outside display. You got that punch hole camera cutout, got cutouts for the earpiece up top, got cutouts up at the top for the speaker microphone, same thing down at the bottom, speaker microphones and the charging port, boom, cable fits in there nice and easily just like that, no problems there. It is compatible with wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. So great case if you want maximum protection for your Galaxy Z Fold 5 with the Unicorn Beetle Pro. Now next up is the iBlazon Clear Cosmo case that we have right here. If you're looking to show off the overall beauty of your Galaxy Z Fold 5, as you can see, I'm showing off the entire blue color in the back on the sides and even on the top and bottom as well. So nothing too crazy here, not as you know rugged looking as the Unicorn Beetle Pro, but still going to give us some good, decent protection. Still got a good enough cutout right there to give you a little bit of lift for those cameras. In the back, you do still have that hinge protector that comes with the S Pen holder. Again, uh, adapters will be available for the new S Pen to come. And this one also has a built-in screen protector, same as the Unicorn Beetle Pro responds well, as you can see right there. On the side, we do have the volume rockers, which respond well. 
And then we have the opening for the power button and fingerprint sensor, as you can see there, cutouts up at the top, cutouts down at the bottom. And yes, this cutout also works with the charging port, as you can see right there. And then if you open it up, we do get some good coverage for that inside display as well. So overall, pretty cool case from iBlazon if you want to be able to show off your Galaxy Z Fold 5 while still keeping it protected. But there you have it, the Whitestone Dome Premium Gen Film for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments sections below. Do you see yourself picking up this screen protector for your device? I have links for everything down in the description below. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thanks so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.